My name is Tim Collins, and I'm the chairman of the board of the Lubbock Chamber of Commerce for 2012. And I am very proud to be able to be the first person to stand in front of you and tell you about our new visioning strategic planning campaign. Before we get started, I'd like to thank the members of the media for being here. The Chamber's always enjoyed a great relationship and great support from the local media, and we appreciate their efforts. Uh, we have a number of city officials and county officials here today. We have a number of uh, uh, community leaders that have joined us, and we appreciate your attendance, and thank you again very much. About 11 months ago, the Chamber Board challenged itself to begin a campaign of visioning and strategic planning for the city. Uh, that campaign is being led by two of Lubbock's very prominent business leaders, community leaders, David Simon and Connie Horton. We thank you very much. We have also put together a very broad and diverse steering committee to help with this effort. If you're on that steering committee, could I get you to raise your hands, please? We thank you all very much. A couple of days ago, I was asked to speak at the ribbon cutting of the Marsha Sharp Freeway. And I told the group at the time that we had built a new connection for Lubbock. This process will also build a new connection for Lubbock. The Marsha Sharp Freeway connects across town. This process will connect our present to our future. I think that's very significant that we have the opportunity today to pick a point in time and envision what we want Lubbock to be like and then build the roadway to get there. Interestingly enough, there will be no orange barrels in this project. And orange barrels are very symbolic in that they tell us where we can't go. They tell us you can't turn right. They tell us which lane you can't use. We don't have those constraints in this project. Let me tell you, we're going to the citizens very shortly all of the citizens of Lubbock to give them the opportunity to tell us where we should go, where Lubbock should be in 10 or 15 years from now. And so we're very excited about that process. We thank your, you for your attendance today, and I'm going to let David uh, take over from here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ken. Uh, again, appreciate everyone being here today. Uh, nice turnout, and we do appreciate uh, you taking the time out of your schedule to be here. Uh, I would say by now uh, there are very few in the room that are unaware that the name of this community-wide effort is Imagine Love It Together and this is how we are going to be defining our future. Uh, it's often said the best part of Lubbock is our people uh, and that's why we need you to imagine our future and communicate your hopes and desires so that together we can create a roadmap, not only for ourselves, but also for our children and our children's children. Starting today and over the next several months, all Lubbock citizens will decide our, Lubbock, our, our city's future by providing input during public gatherings, uh, an interactive web, website, social media, and exchanging information during group sessions. We're making sure that meetings are planned and scheduled throughout the community so that every segment of our population is equally represented. This has been remarkably well planned. And to repeat what Tim said, I truly believe that this will be the largest community-wide effort this city has ever embarked on. And with that, I'm happy to turn over the mic to Connie Wharton who is my co-chair, who will explain a little bit more uh, about this effort. So, Connie. Thank you, David. I would add my welcome to everybody that's here today. It's wonderful to see so many people gathered here this morning. Um, you know, it doesn't seem like a very long time ago, last September, when the Chamber Board drove a stake into the ground and really initiated this effort. Um, it just seems like no time at all. And in the past nine months, um, the steering committee has really been involved in a pre-planning process and trying to get out and talk to as many people as possible in the community and begin to put the groundwork in place for the kickoff today. 
Um, we are so very excited to be sharing this with you today and to tell you a little bit more about exactly what this, this effort is going to be. Um, we, the community of Lubbock, are going to create a vision and a strategic plan for the city of Lubbock. We don't know exactly how far out into the future it will go. It may be 10 years, 15 years, or 20 years. But one of the most important things about this process is that we hope every single citizen and the Lubbock community reaches out and becomes involved in the process. And there's a number of ways that people are going to be able to do this. One of the things that, that will be happening um, on September 10th through the 12th, we are going to have a large gathering of Lubbock citizens and we will be going through a process there whereby people can make their wants, their desires, and their needs known. And you're going to be hearing a lot more about this in the future and we're very, very excited. As we go through this process, one of the things that is most important to all of us on the steering committee is that the process be entirely transparent. So every step of the way, we are going to be communicating with you in a number of ways to be sure that you see what is going on, that you see how your inputs and your ideas are being utilized, and you understand how the vision and the, the strategic plan is process is um, um, moving forward. One of the other critical things is that the strategic plan also will contain a very specific set of accountabilities and responsibilities. So by the time the plan is complete, sometime we think in next February or March, everyone should know exactly what will be happening, when it will be happening, how it will be happening, and who is responsible for what will, will be um, the strategic plan. So we're just very, very excited about that. Um, one of the things that we have done over the last several months is we worked very hard to find a strategic partner, someone who was a specialist in community visioning and planning, and we are very, very fortunate today to be introducing you to ACP planning, um, uh, strategic planning and visioning. We looked literally all over the country in selecting this partner. We were thrilled to receive inputs and proposals from all over the country. We went through a very, very deliberative two-month process in selecting this organization. We now have had about a month or two to actually begin some pre-work and begin our work today, and we just could not be happier. I think as we go forward in time, you're going to see the expertise and the skill that these individuals are able to bring to this effort. So with that, I'd like to introduce Johnny Longo, who is a principal with ACP Planning. Johnny, welcome. Thank you, Thank you Connie, and good morning, everyone. I'm really delighted to be here. Uh, I've been involved in many, many visions, 30 years worth of, and uh, every time that there is a launching like this, becomes a very exciting event. And it is exciting because it's rare for communities, uh, for people living in the community, to come together, to start thinking about the future, to imagine what is possible in that future, and ultimately to take charge, because the only reason why we do a vision is because at the end of the day, we want to implement it. So we are embarking in a journey today. Today is the, is the anchors that have been lifted. And uh, in this journey, the key to the success is going to be people. The key to the success is going to be the participation of as many people coming from this community as possible, not only to the face-to-face -face meetings, uh, through the website, through the social media, as it has been said, but ultimately also, we're going to have a, what we call a summit. And sometime in October, on the 18th of October, we will gather 1,000 people from this community to come together at the Civic Center and through the use of keypad technology, really have a 1,000 person dialogue. How, how great is that? Um, one of the things that I've been doing since I'm new to this community is been to ask people, what is the most important asset? of Lubbock. And of course, everybody told me, unequivocally, people. Well, this is a challenge. This process is a challenge to the people of Lubbock to come together and participate so that we can have 
the biggest, a giant brainstorm, the biggest brainstorm that has ever taken place in this part of the country. Uh, a giant size for the, uh, <laughs> for this giant size of Texas. Uh, on our side, our pledge is to uh, make sure that every idea that is given to us is written down, is recorded, and is posted to the website so that the process will be entirely transparent. And we will use every single idea that you give us to build a vision for the future of Lubbock. So at this time, I would like to introduce the members of our team that are in attendance. Victor Dover from Dover Co. Good morning. Good morning. Kennedy Smith from the Clue Group. Hi. And Michael Curtis from SCP Visioning and Planning. These, are, these people are the best in the country at what they do. And so we are delighted to be here, we are honored to be here, and thank you for having us here. So I hope you can see we're off to a great start, and, and I have to echo what Gianni says. We also believe that we have the very best group in the country to help us initiate this effort. So. We have two specific things that we want to show you this morning. The first thing that we want to show you is our new logo. So Constance, if you would please, drum roll. <laughs> this is our new logo. I hope you like it. And I'm not going to try to tell you everything that the logo stands for, but certainly I think you can see in there uh, blue sky, I think you can see a bright new day, I think you can see the green earth, the agriculture here. Um, I hope you also um, gather from that the spirit of inclusiveness that we want to get across with this effort. So this is our logo. The second thing that I want to introduce you to today is our new website. The website is Imagine Lubbock Together. And if you will look up, you can see um, our home page here. There's a um, uh, place in the back you can see, and there, there is also a monitor in the conference room. This website is now live, and we are going to be um, engaged in an outreach effort here over the next several months trying to have as many people as possible visit the website, make their inputs, and watch and see how those inputs are, are pulled together. Um, one of the things that's interesting about this website is that if an individual makes a comment or puts an input into it, someone else can second that or say, I like that too. And the individual who adds their second comment will see that reflected immediately on the website. So it is a real-time, highly interactive website. And we will be updating it on a regular basis um, with information and news as we move forward. So with that, I would again say thank you all so much for being here today. Um, for those of us that have been engaged in this process for some time, we could not be more excited and more enthused about this effort. I have been involved in community efforts for well over 30 years, and I have to say that from my heart, I believe this is absolutely going to be one of the greatest things for the city of Lubbock with the help of everyone in the city. Thank you all for being here, and we're looking forward to talking with you in the future.